Hey, Gareth here from Port Monkeys, and uh, today we are on the Majestic Princess. And we are on deck five in the Piazza. I'm just going to take a spin around real quick. This is Bar Piazza. This is the International Cafe. Food here is free. Specialty coffees cost money. This is the Vines Wine Bar over here. I don't put these on ships much anymore. And there's some shops down here. And Future Cruise Desk is over there. Let's go up. Oh, and one of the ship's dining rooms is those doors there. It's not open this early in the morning. So they have these beautiful spiral staircases. And you'll notice maybe that this looks a whole lot like other Royal class ships, because it is. This is Alfredo's Pizzeria, and it's big on this ship. And the pizza's free. Now, I think this used to be Bellini's um, champagne bar or something. It's now Good Spirits at Sea. Over there is the photo department and the art gallery down at the end. And another restaurant. This is the VIP gaming lounge. But now it's a bar and VIP gaming. So they actually have some back rack tables. Right there, two of them. And guys sit there all day. There's nobody to deal to. Hi. Let's back up and go around. This is the Grand Casino. Let's just weave in and out here. Um, they're closed this morning and probably closed today. We're going to get into port early or later today. <laughs> Can't get in earlier. We're walking forward on the ship. And I'm going to walk into the Grand Casino if I can get in. Or Princess Theater. That was the Grand Casino. So this is the Princess Theater. And um, they're probably playing music in here, so I'm going to talk a little bit louder. The theater is a really nice theater. Uh, good sight lines. No pillars. No obstructions. Nothing like that. You can go up there. In fact, let's do that. And this will be uh, Deck 7 up here. They put on some good shows, although the production shows they're having trouble with. People get COVID, people get hurt. We've had some rough seas maybe. So we've had a lot of singers and musicians and comedians, that sort of thing. It's early in the morning, so the princess shops aren't open yet. But this is where they are. And they have uh, a lot of stores selling clothes, perfume, jewelry, watches. We don't usually shop too much on board, but you already know that. Um, somebody asked me the other day, does the Cartier store only sell watches? And the answer is almost exclusively. We'll walk by there in a minute. Here's Bistro Sur Le Mer. $29 cover charge, I think. And this is the Ocean Terrace Bar. And they used to have sushi. This used to be a sushi bar, but they tell me they don't do that anymore. This ship was originally built for the Asian market, but it didn't work out. And now here we are. So there's the uh, piazza again. Uh, 
if you've been on other Royal class ships, you probably notice that it looks exactly the same up here. Hi. The chandelier in there. Oh. Midship elevators. And right around this corner, which is it's kind of hard to find, midship stairs. We're now in the ocean front area where you can get help with your um, medallions. There's a lot of medallion issues. Princess Live Cafe. This used to be the Gong Cha Tea Bar when the ship first launched, but now it's just Princess Live Cafe Bar. Uh, you can get special copies there and liquor. This is Princess Live. On the newer ships, there's no wall here. Moving on along. Um, I think we're going to make it all the way to the back. So this is the Crown Grill and Bar. This is the bar area. That's the bar and the Crown Grill Steakhouse is in there. $29 cover charge also. This is the loyalty desk and the library. Let's go quickly in here. Not many books. The cruise director says, well, we got a couple hundred, but people got them and are reading them. So don't know if that's true. This is the Vista Gaming Lounge. Now on other ships, it's just called the Vista Lounge. But this was built for Asia and so in the beginning, these round white tables here were mahjong, square mahjong tables. But they've removed them and um, now it's just a showroom, but they, they don't change the sign because I guess it would cost too much, I don't know. So, let me go down here. They have shows in here nightly. Uh, we took ukulele lessons in here, ukulele. So from the uh, Majestic Princess, this is Gareth from Port Monkeys saying, Port Monkeys out, and we'll see you in the next port. Bye.